Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add captions using the Riverside FM editor. I've been getting a lot of questions about this just because I've been doing a bunch of videos on different streaming tools and Riverside is one of the most popular. So what you have to do here is get into which studio you have your video in. This is in the Chris's podcast section. So I'm gonna click on episode one here. And then if I click on this, all you do is click on edit on which video you want to open, right? And this will then open up the video editor essentially. And it may take a second to kind of like get going because you have to remember this is a browser based video editor. If you're looking to have like long-term better results with editing, you may want to look into learning an actual video editor like CapCut or Filmora. There's a bunch of them, DaVinci. But if you're looking to keep it really simple, this will work. So all we have to do here is essentially to add captions to my video. All we have to do is look over here on the right-hand side, there's a bunch of tabs. There's like an AI tool that will help you remove like ums and blank spaces. But as you see here, the fifth one down says captions. All we have to do then is click on what style captions you want to add add to your video. There's like, looks to be 15 different designs of captions. And then all you do is click on it and it will then add it to your video. And you can change the sizing, the layout, the highlighting color. You can change all this stuff. You can do two lines. It's very customizable and easy to use. All you have to do is click out and then all the captions should be on your video then. And all you have to do once you're done here is you have to just click export and then choose all the video quality, removing watermark. You're obviously going to need a paid version of Riverside to be able to do this. And yeah, I think this video editor in Riverside is extremely helpful. And what's really cool is you can just launch your podcast or your recordings, your live streams, whatever. And then it just pops up in your dashboard. And then once it kind of uploads and renders, all you have to do is click edit. And you can also click on create with AI to kind of jump in their AI editor that will kind of like help remove all the dead spaces and so forth. But it's really easy to use. This is a great tool for people that don't want to learn video editing and it just essentially has all this built into it. I can do all the same things I can in video editing as I can do here. So to like what I tend to do is remove all the dead spots. You just drag the cursor and then you can just add a split and then all you have to do is drop and drag to remove that dead spot. So it's like really this is a great tool like I said for beginners that are looking to learn video editing. And again, the captions can really help kind of like increase retention. You can also add a bunch of other things like brand ability. You can add your logo, a watermark. You can add music. You can add images. A lot of people don't even know this. I can add actual images of B-roll in my video. Say if you're doing like an example tutorial video and you wanted to like pop up on screen, I can just add that right here in the video editor using their stock footage that anyone can use. It's just like free usage stock footage. And they also have videos. Like I could add a video as well. You're going to have to kind of be patient with like what you're getting here just because it takes some time for this stuff to render so if I just kind of like drop and drag this over I can have that also play on screen or I can like uh, have it full size to actually be b-roll so yeah guys if you're thinking about getting Riverside please consider using my affiliate link in the description you'll get a free trial with that link this is how to add captions on the video editing feature on Riverside FM hit me up in the comments with questions all the links and guides will be in the description I'll see you in the next one guys peace